Hi everyone, Nicholas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. Last week I blogged about the new REST APIs for Domino and X pages, and today we published the first release of these REST APIs on OpenNTF. And when I say we, I really mean the developers and architects Dave, Rama, Stephen, and also Phil. Um, so the REST APIs are part of the extension library. And when you now install the extension library, you will get these services um, also uh, directly installed. Now, one thing you need to, to know is that these services only work on 8.5.3 um, and you need to use the um, code drop 5 um, at this point. Um, there is um, a document with uh, uh, 37 pages that describes a lot of these things in detail. Um, and on this page it gives an overview of the different types of REST services. There are three different ones. Domino Data Service, XPages REST Services Control, and a custom database servlet. And in this video I'm going to describe all three um, at least briefly. So let's start with the first one, the Domino Data Service. The Domino Data Service is the REST API um, that you want to use if you want to access Domino and data in Domino databases from non-X pages, uh, so for from all other types of third-party applications. Um, and this service is deployed globally on the Domino server, again as part of the extension library. Um, and let me show you how this works. There is a simple um, sample program, um, part of the extension library, which is called um, uh, Domino Access Services Notes Peak, and in here in this first column, there you can see the list of databases on my server, and right here I have um, selected a database, um, my test database, which has only one view and one subject, and all of that data has been read now via um, REST APIs. Now you can see that by opening tools like Firebug, and then when I do this again, when I click on here, you can see that three REST API calls just happened. The first one um, was to read all the collections in the database. The um, second one was to read the design of the selected view. Um, and the third one was to get the view entries of that um, specific view. Okay, now I can open these and see the response right here as plain text or even um, there is um, the simple um, JSON um, viewer as part of this tool. Um, you can also um, just read the source code of this um, sample file and um, as you can see it uses um, the Dojo data grid control and the Dojo um, JSON rest store and I don't want to go um, through all the details but essentially you define the, the URL and then you create this JSON REST store and bind it to the data grid control. Also, another way to find out what's going on is um, to use the uh, second documentation. So in addition to the PDF, there's also a reference, a set of HTML files that explains how to set up all of these things. And most importantly, it um, documents all these different REST APIs. For example, this one, database collection get is the one that was um, used also in the notes peak tool to populate the um, left data grid with data and here uh, you can see the URL um, you can see what additional parameters you can pass in and you get in you see information about the response and the the properties that are um, returned and maybe most importantly there are always examples um, so let me show you, or oh, actually before I show you how to set this up, um, one more thing I wanted to point out is the, or are the other um, APIs that are available. So again, this one was the one to read the databases. Um, then you can access documents, you can read them, you can delete them, you can create new ones and you can change them. Uh, the document collection is to create new ones. Um, then you have the ability to read the photos and views of a um, specific database and you get the design for specific of these um, photos or views and obviously you can read the view entries um, from these um, views and photos. 
So now, in order to use this functionality, you need to do a couple of things. First of all, for security purposes, and all of these things that I talk about now are for security purposes, so that you know people can't access the data of your applications that you have never thought would be possible to, to be accessed in this way. Uh, so by default, you can't use these services and you have to enable them um, in a couple of different places. First of all, you need to enable them globally in your um, in your service internet sites or site um, right here enabled services data and then also in addition to that on each database you need to enable them um, and one thing you need to do is to set some um, INI variable that is documented um, so that you get these additional options here allow domino data service and here you can define you can even define uh, whether it's um, not possible at all or only possible for views or even documents. Um, so that's what you need to do on database level. And in addition to that, you actually also have to do it on the view level. Um, where was it? Here, allow Domino data services operations. right? And that's why it only works here for my um, sample database, the um, um, test database. But when I try to open another one, I actually get an exception. And when I read this exception, it um, no, that was the wrong run. When I read the um, the response, it tells me it was forbidden um, because I didn't allow that database to be accessed. And also, one thing I didn't mention was that obviously you need to authenticate first. And if you are not authenticated, you get prompted to do so. So that was the first of these three different um, REST API or REST services. Okay, the second REST service type is the XPages REST services control. This is a control that can be embedded in your XPages and consumed in your XPages very easily. And there are a couple of advantages. One advantage is that you can um, add additional parameters for example, you can add um, a category filter when you access view entries. Um, and also you can bind the, um, the services very easily to Dojo UI controls like the data grid control. Um, the documentation also describes these different services. Um, again, these are the same ones as previously, the database collection, view collection, etc. Um, and I can show you now how this works. Um, there is an extension to the demo application that comes with the extension library. There's a new tab for REST. And here I can click on da uh, data service and invoke all these um, services easily. This one brings up the collection of um, databases as previously. And one thing I didn't show earlier is how to invoke the um, servers to read a document. This is what you see here, a um, list of these built-in properties, but then also custom properties or items or fields or how you call them. Um, so let's see how this looks in the, uh, in the Domino Designer. Um, let me open this one here to read the view entries. This one is selected. Um, well, first of all, I need to give it a name um, and uh, so that I can address it and I need to um, define the path info because the way you address the the service later is um, you know HTTP Domino server and then the name of the database the name of your um, X page the dot XSP is missing here and then your um, path and that URL is then actually also accessible from other pages um, or even other types of applications uh, so once you have done that, in the next step you define or choose um, one of these five available um, services right here. And as I also mentioned, you can define additional parameters like category filter, columns, count, etc. Um, so let's see what else. Um, going back to the demo application, there is another advantage of these services. Now when I invoke this sample here, um, it brings up um, not only a list of columns in that view um, or of the, that um, view entry, but additionally some other um, columns that are really not part of the view. And 
the way this works is uh, which one is that? This one here. And I press this one. And when I switch to the um, source view, I can see again I define an ID, a path info. And then in addition to that, um, for the view JSON service, I define here my additional columns. And a column can actually be again a column from a view, but it doesn't have to. It can also be any arbitrary server side JavaScript. Um, or um, you know whatever else you want. So here you could do joins or um, get data from any other um, sources. And let's see, there was one more thing I wanted to show. Right, another advantage of this mechanism is that you can bind the services easily to um, to the do uh, do Dojo Data Grid control. Now in this case, um, I can um, change something here and save it and those um, um, changes are actually saved back to the database so I can create new items, I can change items, I can delete items um, etc. Um, and this is very easy to use um, so this is the the X page that you just saw so again the first thing is you define your REST service um, which is here um, you give it a path and you give it an ID um, and you point it to the right um, view, etc. And then in the um, data grid control, uh, which is uh, here, uh, you can now uh, bind it uh, via the store component ID. <coughs> so again, <coughs> this is the ID of the, the REST service that we just defined. And that's really as easy as it is to build you know, a nice UI and to bind um, JSON data from um, a Domino database to a Dojo data grid control. Okay, the third um, type of REST service is what we call a custom database servlet. It's a servlet implemented via Java in your Java perspective, um, but it lives in your NSF. And the advantage here is that you have the maximal flexibility in terms of what you want to return. You can um, you know, return whatever you want in whatever format you want. Um, so let's see how this works. Um, first of all, again, a sample. Um, the uh, sample application has this custom servlet um, button, which invokes my own um, servlet, which lives in my NSF. Um, so the address is the um, uh, my server and database name and xsp slash services is always the same um, address and then I give it a name, my, I give my servlet a name and I can pass in parameters and in this case it returns view entries but again it could return you know whatever I want. Um, so in um, designer what you need to do um, first of all is switch to your Java perspective and then there is a file um, servlet factory where you define the um, the class name of your servlet factory, and you know what this is 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 not an you know a real servlet if you want it's it's not a Java class that extends the HTTP servlet class, but it's something that comes very close. It's it's a factory, and you can have basically multiple servlets within this one um, um, factory, or de facto servlets. Um, and this is the one that I just showed, all contacts, and this is the name, that, 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 that is um, the same name as in the URL. And in here I get the same um, um, objects passed in, um, HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response, and in here I can do whatever I want. And this is just a very simple example that again calls an, um, um, an XML service, but again it could be um, you know anything. Um, and um, the interesting thing is that you can also call all of these um, services that we provide also directly via Java API. And um, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you provide feedback and um, let us know what you think. Thanks a lot for your attention.